What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be playing a bit of catch-up. I've been away for the weekend, and therefore I've missed a few changes that happened several days ago now, but I wanted to make sure you guys had the before and after for this. The first big thing here is the Maddox was actually rebuffed fairly significantly after last Tuesday's huge nerf to it. If you guys remember from that patch video I made covering all of the details of the weapon balancing changes, you'll probably remember that the Maddox ended up with quite a bit more recoil than it had before that big nerf to it especially when using the elo site the amount of recoil you had after the patch with the elo was insane it was way too high well a couple days after that big nerf they ended up hot fixing this and they somewhat reverted that nerf now it's still not as accurate as it was before that big nerf but it still is quite noticeably better than after that nerf you'll see with no attachments it's definitely noticeable there is less recoil now compared to after the nerf but more importantly i wanted to show you guys the difference with the elo site this was the biggest difference when it first got that nerf, the recoil was absolutely insane with an ELO sight, and now it's a lot more normalized, although still a bit more recoil than you'd see if you weren't using that ELO sight. So personally, if you normally use an ELO sight on the Maddox, I would recommend making the switch and at least giving the reflex sight a try, because it does have noticeably less recoil when you're using that reflex sight. Of course, it still comes down to personal preference to an extent, I just wanted to point out the differences here. So that was the first change that happened several days ago now. That was just a day or two after it was nerfed. Another huge change, though, was the black market. They have made adjustments to this, which is awesome to see. There was some massive backlash against how they changed the contraband stream, where you no longer earned any reserves after tier 100, and they brought the supply drops in. So following that backlash, what they've done is they've once again put reserves back in after tier 100. So when you're in that contraband stream, after you reach tier 100, you get a reserve crate for every tier after that. And this is exactly how it was working in the previous season, which is great to see that they made that change. Also, the reserve crates that you get through playtime, which are separate from those tiers, you're also earning these crates just through time played, they have doubled the progression rate of that, which is great to see as well. We are going to be seeing those a lot more often because before this change, it was taking roughly two hours of gameplay time to get one crate. So now it's roughly one hour to get each one of these crates. And also the third thing they mentioned is they retroactively added the crates for people that were already past tier 100. So for instance, I made it to tier 105 or so before I went on my little vacation for the weekend. And now that I'm back from my trip, five of those cases were sitting in my inventory waiting for me. So this is really good to see. I'm happy they decided to revert that and go back to how it was last season. And now we're actually earning more crates this season than we were last season which is definitely a good thing for the community. Of course, supply drops are still there, which I've really got no problem with in their current state because they are cosmetic only. I have had some people say that, oh, they're not all cosmetic only because you can get signature weapons, which give you a 25% boost in your XP. But XP does not equal score, so it's not letting you get your score streaks faster. It doesn't make your gun kill any more effectively. So it literally makes no difference whatsoever to your gameplay. I don't care if every single one of my enemies has a signature weapon. It doesn't affect the gunfights at all. Now, I will still say that I feel like they're missing out on some opportunities with this system. I think it could be streamlined and improved a lot more effectively. I really think these reserve crates should be tied into some sort of daily or weekly challenge. That will make it a lot more engaging and exciting to play. It'll at least give you a reason to log on every day and complete some small challenge. And yet we're still not seeing that. So yes, this change that they made, it's great for the community. It is a lot more consumer friendly. But at the same time, I feel like they're just wasting a huge opportunity with this setup. And finally, this just leaves us with another thing that launched later last week while I was gone on vacation, so I wanted to keep you guys updated. The Hot Pursuit game mode for Blackout was launched, and I've got to be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed. I was hoping Hot Pursuit would have like a really unique rule set where you actually had like cops versus robbers, and maybe it was a 50v50 mode, or you had to like pick up cash in certain locations and escort it to a different location while on a Blackout map. But unfortunately, it's basically just down but not out, which is that mode where you're allowed to respawn as long as one of your teammates is still standing you'll have several opportunities to respawn but they've added the new police vehicles and the muscle car and that's pretty much it overall though still a fun experience i enjoyed down but not out and therefore i still enjoy this mode i was just hoping that it would be something a lot more unique than basically adding vehicles to an existing mode and with that that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for today's video on my fairly late update with all the things that changed over the weekend I wish I could have got it out to you sooner. I realize I'm very late with this stuff, but I feel everybody deserves a vacation every now and then. So hopefully you guys can forgive me for that. I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about these changes? First off, with the Maddox, do you think they did over nerf it in that situation and therefore it deserved this rebuff? Or did you like the way it was nerfed before? 
Also, let me know your thoughts on the reserve crates, as well as what you guys feel about the Hot Pursuit mode in Blackout. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.